The Missouri Tigers in the Cotton Bowl this year. They're going to be taking on Ohio State. Welcome in, everyone. I am Blaine Gilmer. This is Southeastern 14. And it's time to talk about how the Missouri Tigers have had a tremendous year, but they're not finished yet. They are going to go to the Arlington, Dallas, Fort Worth area, to Jerry's World for the Cotton Bowl on a New Year's Six bowl game with an opportunity to stand on business. Yes, that's what Eli Drinkwitz told Josh Heupel after a 38-6 beatdown of Tennessee. We stand on business, Josh, and that has not changed for this Missouri program. They're going to take this opportunity, and they're going to make the absolute most of it. And we're going to talk about how that could change, and things could change drastically on both sides of the equation as we go forward here. Welcome in here to Southeastern 14. We talk all things SEC sports on the daily, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And before we get into this matchup of Missouri and Ohio State, we want to tell you about our partnership with Bet Online, guys. The holiday season is off and rolling with NFL in full stride. The NBA and NHL are in midseason form. Bet Online is your number one destination for all sports wagering information, guys. Up to the minute, sports wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions. Bet Online is the top spot for everything pro and amateur sports. And it's not just for those, those big four sports, guys. No, no, no. Bet Online has information available at your fingertips with both desktop and mobile access at any time for almost any sport that is played. From MMA to international soccer, head over to Bet Online today and remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V, all caps, B L E A V, for your 50% welcome to bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts. Guys, where we're going to start is before we get to Ohio State in this matchup and things like that, we're going to start with where things sit in this game. For the Missouri Tigers. They are a group that I don't think many people other than I, I predicted them to go nine and three this year. They exceeded my expectations by a game. So the Missouri Tigers had quite the year. I think we're looking at a team that is playing for something bigger, not just momentum guys. They're playing to, to say, Hey, this wasn't just a flash in the pan. This it wasn't just a you know confluence of a lot of experience meeting together, and and it's something that Missouri is capable of doing. You know, once every uh, three or four years, or or once every you know five or eight years. These this is a Missouri program that is trending in such a direction that we can sustain this level of success. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here in the Cotton Bowl. And we're going to take on a brand in Ohio State in front of millions and millions of eyeballs because it's going to be a New Year's Six Bowl game. And regardless of what people think and all this kind of stuff, when the games roll around and it's that time of the year and people are sitting at home with family and friends, they're going to turn on these ball games and they're going to watch them. And largely, there's going to be people who are future football players, which would be high school football players at the, uh, that are future college football players. They're going to be watching these games, and they're not going to care about who's opted out and who's not and who's playing and all that. They're going to see the brand. They're going to see that tiger that you see back here on this, on this helmet right here. They're going to see that on that helmet, and they're going to see the Ohio State on the, the with the, 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 silver helmet of Ohio State on the other side, and they're going to see those two brands, and they're going to say, huh, Missouri has put themselves in a position where they're on a on a playing field in a New Year's Six Bowl game against an iconic brand like Ohio State. Let's see what the Missouri Tigers are all about. And here's the difference, guys. This thing started when it, when it came out, the line between these two teams in the Cotton Bowl. This thing started with Ohio State, depending on where you look, being a seven. 
six and a half, seven point favorite. Now you can, as we record this morning on the morning of December 7th, you can find the Missouri Tigers now in different books and wherever you look as a favorite over Ohio State. Now there's a lot to do with with opt-outs and there's a lot to do with transfer portal and things like that. But like I said, before we list those off, let's get into Missouri here. Cody Schrader, who won the Broilsworth Trophy for the best former walk-on in America, had a tremendous season uh, and just absolutely encapsulates everything that is good about college football, is a dynamic player and has brought himself to a point where I think he will have a tremendous future on Sundays. He made a statement that this game for Missouri, for the seniors in this Missouri class, is a legacy game. This is a game that they want to put their stamp on Missouri football forever. They want to go out and they want to, they want to dominate. And here's the thing about Eli Drinkwitz. He is a fierce competitor. He's a guy who is going to have a lot of fun. I mean, he made, he cut the joke about uh, with Reese Davis on the ESPN about, hey, I got to go uh, getting a call in from Connor Stallions here, um, things like that. So he's going to have a lot of fun, but he is a fierce competitor, and he is not afraid to absolutely just pour it on when his team has an opportunity to do so. Um, he is not one that's going to let off the gas. He's not one that's going to bleed the clock for a game or anything like that. He is going to try and go out and absolutely make a statement, stand on business, if you will, with the Missouri Tigers against Ohio State. Now, the thing about it is, is Eli Drinkwitz is someone who is very conscious of the environment that he is in he's very conscious of the brand his missouri team has he's very conscious of providing nil nil opportunities for his missouri players uh getting them whether it's on pizzas or whether it's getting them on chips or different things like that finding ways to make sure their money's right and what a better opportunity even to do so to expand that with this huge opportunity on a national stage in the Cotton Bowl. Um, I think when you're looking at Brady Cook, when you're looking at Tyron Hopper, when you're looking at Cody Schrader, when you're looking um, at different guys, everybody except maybe Enos Rakestraw, who won't be healthy enough, uh, there's reports that he may not be healthy enough to play in the game. But other than an injury, everybody for Missouri, every key player is looking to play in this game, and they're looking to play well in this game and make a statement. Nobody's worrying about opting out for the NFL, anything like that. This is a Missouri team. Like I said, Cody Schrader said this is a statement game, a legacy game for this senior class for Missouri. So that tells you where their mindset at. And as we record this, Cody Schrader, by the way, has an opportunity tomorrow. He will see if he wins the Doak Walker Award for the best running back in the country. Truly a phenomenal season. You you know what uh, Luther Burden and Brady Cook uh, have been able to do, but I think the the secret recipe here has been that physicality of that offensive line, the physicality of that defensive line, and then Cody Schrader just being an absolute Superman uh, against a lot of teams this year. So um, that is what how Missouri is approaching this game. Now it's a stark contrast for what Ohio State is approaching this game with. And the reason that it's gone from Missouri being a a six-and-a-half, seven-point underdog to now being a favorite where you look in some places is that Kyle McCord, Julian Fleming, Mayan Williams, Chip Trainum, and also a, you know, about a dozen other Ohio State Buckeyes have already made their intentions known that they are not going to play for Ohio State in this game, either by declaring for the NFL draft or that they have entered the transfer portal. Now, Kyle McCord, yes, the Kyle McCord, the starting quarterback for Ohio State is in the portal. So they will be playing without the quarterback that led them to an 11 and one record uh, that was six points away from defeating uh, Michigan, just one possession from defeating Michigan and being probably the number one 
seed in the college football playoff. Instead, they're on the outside looking in, and people are looking for different opportunities. Kyle McCord threw for over 3,000 yards this year, um, had a you know had a really good touchdown to interception ratio, good good completion percentage. He wasn't the most dynamic as like a C.J. Stroud or things like that, but uh, largely played good football for Ohio State and definitely – there was a major gap between what Kyle McCord did and what Devin Brown did is the reason why Ryan Day went with Kyle McCord to run this Buckeye offense this year. And now they will be without him, without Julian Fleming, one of their better receivers kind of behind Marvin Harrison, uh, behind Emeka Abuka. And by the way, we don't know if either one of those guys will play as the NFL is come calling. Of course, Marvin Harrison, a Heisman Trophy finalist, a guy who had over 1,200 yards this year. So we'll see if he plays in this matchup. It is widely speculated that he will not, and he will opt out for the NFL. And then, of course, running the football. Like I said, Mayan Williams, he's declared for the NFL draft, will not play in this game. Chip Trainum uh, is the third leading rusher for Ohio State, will not play in this game. Travion Henderson is the leading rusher and has dealt with injuries uh, off and on throughout his career for Ohio State. And as he as he readies himself for the NFL draft, you have to wonder if he will play and more likely than not in this game. So Ohio State, I believe when you count NFL draft, when you count transfer portal, they're already up to about 16 guys that will not play in this game for the Buckeyes. And we'll see that number, I would imagine, would grow well into the 20s uh, before all is said and done. So, like I said, Eli Drinkwitz and company, Missouri, they don't give a darn about that. They're going to go out there and play still talented players for Ohio State. Ohio State is one of the most talent-laden rosters in all of college football. They're going to have guys that they can put out there that can make plays. We saw this you know, happen a couple years ago against Utah, except the difference is that Utah team that they played was nowhere near as talented from top to bottom, nowhere near as experienced from top to bottom as this Missouri team is that they're about to play in the Cotton Bowl. That that Utah team that they played in the Rose Bowl a couple years ago where um, Jackson Smith and Jigbo went off and, and C.J. Stroud went off and they really kind of set the tone for the, the year to follow. It's a little bit different situation. Now you don't have a quarterback like C.J. Stroud to put in there. You have Devin Brown, who was clearly beat out for that job by Kyle McCord, who who did not have the confidence of Ryan Day going forward. Um, and now he's going to be asked to go in there and play against a very, very salty Missouri defense that uh, with guys like Tyron Hopper, with guys like Chris Abrams Drain, um, that are just playing at an extremely high level right now and playing team uh, oriented football that is going to be difficult for Ohio State to take on. So here's the thing. I think that you're going to see this line uh, end up favoring even more towards Missouri before all is said and done. Uh, I think you're going to see a motivated Missouri team, a Missouri team that wants to go out there, handle their business, take care of their responsibilities, be out there and show the world, show the nation, show former uh, future high school future college football players, what that Missouri brand is all about. They're already picking up uh, steam for next year as in the transfer portal. They brought in St. Louis native Toriano Pride who who uh, played and did some good things for Clemson. So that's a big pickup in the transfer portal. So Missouri, they're ready to stand on business. Missouri is ready to make a statement in the Cotton Bowl. And we're excited to see it here on Southeastern 14. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. We're going to bring you all these videos, previewing these games, full breakdowns as they get closer. And we know exactly who's playing in the game and stuff like that. But wanted to just have this video to say, hey, this what this means for Missouri and what this could mean for Missouri going forward. Because like I said, people aren't going to know who's opting in, who's opting out. They're just going to see Missouri is playing Ohio State and Eli Drinkwitz, Cody Schrader, Brady Cook, Tyrone Hopper, all of these guys that have been there through this rebuild, through this, this buildup of Missouri have a chance to stand on business. They have a chance to make a statement, to leave their legacy mark on Missouri and propel the program forward into a sustainable winner going forward. And that is exactly what Missouri is trying to do, attract people in the portal, attract high school recruits, 
and attract money into that program. And that is what Missouri is going to attempt to do when they take on Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Blaine Gilmer for Southeastern 14. You can follow me on X using at BGilmer18. And we'll catch you guys next time here on Southeastern 14, our content presented by Bet Online. You can check that out in the description. And we'll catch you guys next time to talk more SEC football right here on your home for daily SEC sports coverage, Southeastern 14. 